Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So I'm just going to put this out there. I am frustrated. <laughs> this is the third attempt trying to record this particular video. Um, I got a brand new camcorder, this little bad boy right here, the Canon Vixia R800. Um, it records beautiful, but I cannot, my laptop, the one that's been giving me problems will not recognize the file format that this records in. So I have to figure something out. And after I spent all that time setting it up, doing the recording, all that fun stuff. Yeah. So there's my new toy that I can't use right now. Then I sat down and I reset up um, the camera, my phone and it did not record properly. It recorded in like an Instagram uh, format instead of the the one that we like to watch on YouTube. <clears throat> so I trashed that one. Now we're gonna try this and I don't like the camera angle. I have to, it's gonna have to work for this particular video and then I'm gonna have to mess with it over the weekend to figure out how I'm gonna set it up. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a pain in the patootie, but it is being one and yeah. So with that being said, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hope you stick around to spell. I'm in the process of redoing my craft room. I had been recording downstairs. This setup is now in the craft room. And um, so there, you're going to be seeing some changes here in the next couple of weeks. <clears throat> If you have been around a while, you guys have noticed <clears throat> I have a different background. And I haven't decided if I like it because as pretty as it is, it grabs everything. I mean, you heard me peel it, peel the paper pad off. It's like, yeah, not, not very conducive. So I might be rolling this cute thing up and putting it away because for one, <clears throat> it grabs all the kitty hair which is going to drive me absolutely insane. And I, I can't put up with that. <clears throat> Sorry. And yeah, so this is a Tuesday morning haul. Hopefully third time's the charm. Um, this is a repurchase for me. And um, this is the die cuts with a view navy florals. Here is the skew. The other problem I'm having is the fact because now I'm in the craft room, I can't, I'm having a hard time controlling my lighting. As big as my room is, it has great light except for recording. And so I'm relying on my ot lights, which are too bright and they actually give me headaches. So I'm trying to diffuse it with like coffee filters and all that fun stuff. But um, I love your guys' input. If it's clear... You know, if the audio is okay because I'm using a new microphone. Um, yeah. Just the trials and tribulations of trying to improve the channel. And um, so that's that. So let's take a peek. Um, for those of you who have not seen this, again, this was a repurchase for me. This is a two-sided collection. Has a lot of really great foiling accents throughout it. I love the muted color palette in this particular collection. Um, it has bright colors, but they're really toned down. And I love that. So this is Navy Florals. And there you go. So there's that. Then I was so excited. Um, Y'all who've been around a while know I bought this in the kit, but I found it in the paper pad and I, I'm only showing the one. I did get two. Those of you who are new, I foster for a Persian Himalayan rescue here in the San Antonio area. And so you're going to see lots of kitty things on this channel. So, um, yeah, uh, I am a cat person. My husband is the dog lover. You may on occasion get a a sneak peek of Buddy, who is our blue healer, 
but more than likely you're going to see either Mustache, who is my son's cat, or Pancake, who is my Hemi, and he is a very uh, demanding of attention um, kitty cat. So, anyway, so I had to pick this collection up. I picked up two of these for some mini albums I have planned. Then, <clears throat> couple, uh, what, a um, couple weeks or maybe two months ago, Tuesday morning got in the paper kits for the Well Hello. Here's the skew for that. And my oldest, he's 25. He is like six foot one, like 260 pounds. And he loves birds. Yeah. He absolutely goes like goo goo crazy over birds. And so I saw this collection and I was like, I have to make something for him. So, well, hello is going to be something for my son, Jacob. And uh, so there's that. Then I was so excited to find this one, the Palm Beach. There's the skew. And again, because of all the lighting issues I have right now, all the shadows, it's driving me crazy. Um... But this collection I thought would go well in some of my cruising um, scrapbooks and mini albums. Because y'all know who've been around a while, I adore pineapples and I love flamingos. And this collection has plenty of both. Lots of great foiling. Come on flamingos, where are you at? They're hiding on me. Come on. There they are. The pretty flamingos. So there is that. Palm Beach. And then last but not least. I was so excited to find this. Um, and anytime I find something like this, I immediately think of um, Anchor Life 5. She is an amazing YouTube channel. She is a great crafter. She has a wonderful Etsy shop and has lots of like chunky charms, um, TNs, mini planners, stuff like that. Definitely go check her out if you have not already. Um, I have featured some of her planners before on my channel because I've purchased from her and I'm pretty certain I'll purchase from her again because she just makes a great planner. And, um, yeah, so in case I didn't show it, there is the skew and let's take a peek. But uh, the reason why I think of her <coughs> is she's a former Navy. Uh, she's a retired Navy wife. I am a former Navy wife, um, but I'm still, still love anything nautical. Um, one reason being is I love to go on cruises and um, this fits right in with that. So there's that. Then I was so happy I found the Gal Meets Glam in the 6x6 pad. Here is the skew. And I love Audrey Hepburn. And so when I see this collection, I immediately think of her and um, my fair lady and breakfast at tiffany's um yeah just a fun pretty collection great foiling and i was so excited because where's it hiding i had to, this is like i said this is the third time filming this <laughs> um actually i'll just go to this first on the nautical um they had this jolie sticker set and so you have all the luggage and then your your um, travel tags. And I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be, but it looks like ornaments and stuff. But anyway, I'll use that on some kind of page. Here's the skew. And then, never saw this before. I was so excited to find this stamp set to go with the uh, Girl Meets Glam. Or gal meets glam. And I can't wait to stamp her. Because I want to emboss her in like either gold or silver. 
or blush pink or something. I just, I can't wait to emboss her. So there's that. And here is the skew. Then uh, they had this uh, pack of five pocket folders to go in the mini happy planners for $1.99. There is the skew. And I believe it is these four here and that pocket there is what is inside. So I was super excited to find that. Then I found these embellished pockets by Maggie Holmes for the confetti collection. And there are the pockets inside. Yeah, this lighting is driving me absolutely crazy. So there's that. Then back to travel. Found this Chamel uh, luggage tag inserts for $1.49. Here's the skew. And I thought this would go well in my scrapbook albums. And there are the other two. There's four tags total. So there's those two and those two. Was happy to find this pink paisley... Um, uh, charms for the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection. I had seen these and forgot to grab them. And then when I went back the first time, they were gone. And so um, these were the only ones I could find this go around. And so I grabbed those. I did get two sets of the hearts. Then <clears throat> they had this uh, My Mind's Eye, the Bliss um, Ephemera Pack. <clears throat> Those have been around know that I'm going to be doing a wedding album for my son and his wife. And these are most of the colors. <clears throat> but I was so, so, so excited because some of y'all know. <clears throat> sorry about clearing my throat. I don't know what, what is going on. But yeah. I have been on the hunt for this particular collection for months. <clears throat> you can find everything but the paper. You can even find the fabric. There's a fabric printed in this particular collection. But I can't find the paper pads. Um, I had seen a 6x6 six six one time at Hobby Lobby. But even with the coupon, I just thought it was way too expensive. And I passed it up and now I wish I hadn't. I also hate this chair. It squeaks so much. Um, but it has the blue in this particular collection is the exact blue that's in their wedding. And between these two, these are all the colors. And so I'm really, really praying that I can find the papers for this because it would just make everything perfect. So they had two of those and I grabbed them both because I've never seen any other blush. Then they had the ephemera pieces for the Palm Beach collection. And here's the skew. And of course, you guys knew I was goo goo gaga over the pineapples and all the flamingos. So, of course, I grabbed two of those. There were, my store had tons of all of this. So, and I only grabbed one of these because I think I already have like another set. Then I found um, another one of these packs of the Project, Wi Project Life Enamel. Um, stickers. Um, I adore anything enamel, so I always snatch it up. Here is the skew for those. And they're such a bright, fun um, color palette. Then they have these super cute little umbrella charms. Here's the skew. And because of my lighting, you can't see it very well, but it's a pretty pink, a white, and a purple umbrella. And they only had the two, so I grabbed them both. I plan on once, you know, everything settles down and everything, I wanted to get into chunky charms and I thought these would be fun on some chunky charms. So there's that. Back to the nautical theme. I found these, uh, this mermaid, uh, gift tissue. There's, uh, it says eight prints, 12 solid for $1.99. There's the skew. Again, this lighting is driving me crazy and the chair squeaking is too, so I'm going to try to not move. 
They had this beautiful journal with God, all things are possible, Matthew 19, 26. And again, the lighting is really washing it out, but it's a really pretty, uh, like, it looks like a paint brushed, like blush pink with some pretty gold foiling. And then the pages are pink as well. And I was so excited about this. I took the sticker off without thinking about it. So I'm sorry. I don't have a skew for that one. However, I did buy two of these, one for me and one for friend mail. I'll show the skew on the one that's not opened. There's that. And here's mine. It is a blush pink little organizer with gold foiled kitty cats. And it is a weekly organizer. There are your days of the week. It's a notepad and your sticky notes and then an envelope. And my son is behind me smiling because, you know, mom is YouTubing. So I was excited about that and I can't wait to send the friend mail out because I know she's going to love it. Because she loves kitties and she loves pink. So if she's watching, she might know who she is. Denise. Um, now, some of you know, I, uh, got some of these on sale online, uh, about a month or so ago, and I thought I had gotten a great deal paying, uh, I think it was like either 12 or $14 for them, but I mean, hello, 10 bucks. Here's the skew. I adore crate paper. You guys know that. And, um, so when I saw these for 10, I was snatching it up. Here are the inserts. One of these is definitely going in a giveaway. I haven't decided about the others yet. Uh, here's the skew for this one. Love this life. Now, this blue tassel doesn't match very well, but I'm not going to complain. Here are the inserts for this one. There's no place I'd rather be. And all the insight inserts there, one is blank and the other one is um, like graph dots. Here is the skew on this one. This is white with gold foiling. The inserts on that one. This one is definitely going in a giveaway. This is not my style, but I know quite a few will enjoy this one. Here is the skew, and um, there are the inserts. So there's that. Then I found these inserts I can't wait to add to one of my journals for $3.99. The skew for those. The colors are gorgeous, and I love the floral prints. So there's that. Then on to more Crate Paper Journal Studio. This is an Amy Tangerine collection. I like Amy Tangerine, but, oh, and here's the skew. 2108473. Um, but she can be very bold in her prints. And so because of that, I don't really go for a lot of her stuff. But I do love this particular collection. It's very happy and whimsical. And, uh... So I'm looking forward to using this one. Let's see, I love the the clear, the clear um, stickers. So there is this. Come on, there's that one, and then the last of those is this one. Here's the skew. This one doesn't stay anything, but when you look at it, you know definitely that this is influenced by Maggie Holmes. So we have some wood grain alphas, pink, gold, black. Basically looks just like Maggie Holmes here. So, and I was a good girl. My store had tons of all of these and I only picked up one of each. I I have to start forcing myself to uh, be more cautious in my spending because my daughter 
is starting clinicals in May and a huge chunk of my paycheck is going to be going to paying her rent and utilities and all that fun stuff. Um, so it'll be interesting. I may be doing scrap from my stash or stuff like that. Um, we'll see. Um, there will still be hauls, but they may not be as big as you guys are used to seeing on my channel. Um, but Lord knows I've got plenty of stuff to work with. So yeah. And then the end of this haul, y'all know me and the kitty cats. Saw these super, super cute. There was actually four in this set, but the fourth one I didn't like. So I left it behind. And then my favorite one, a cute little kitty face. The fourth one was another kitty face, but it was like a really bold, thick, just black. Um, I didn't care for it too much. So that, guys, for the third time is my Tuesday morning haul for this week. Again, I love your feedback. Uh, again, I'm trying to work on the lighting, my camera setup. Um... I've got a lot of stuff I'm going to be working on over, you know, the next couple of weeks trying to re reformat this because I do not like the lighting at all in my in my craft room one bit. It is awful as far as doing videos go. Hopefully the audio is good because I bought a new mic system. And um yeah. I will be working mainly in the craft room this weekend. And trying, I've got so much crap downstairs that the downstairs looks like a craft hoard. So I've got to get it back up here in the craft room. So that is my focus this weekend. I will, my goal is to share another update sun, someday, you know, like Sunday afternoon, evening. So be on the lookout for that. And, um, yeah, as always, you know, I got, love you guys to pieces. You guys are amazing. Um, all the get wells and everything is so appreciated and um you guys are just wonderful and i wouldn't be here without you so with that being said guys i hope you have a great night a great weekend and as always happy crafting Bye bye <laughs>